Hello, hi there guys, this is Sonimur and welcome to Slime Codes. In today's video, we'll be continuing the op RTS series and well, it's been some time since I made a video, so I'm gonna make it a little extraordinary or pretty longer. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of features as you can see. So, uh, we can now move the camera by going to the edges while holding down control. So, move towards an edge while holding down control and the closer to the edge you are, the faster you're going to move. So let me show you, uh, uh, so it also works for the corners and well, the perfect kind of camera that you will need for an RTS game. And now the next thing that I want to show you guys is the selection. So now if you select a unit, you see a progress bar for its health and the unit, uh, is, uh, its name is displayed on top of it. So if I just right click deselect any of the units they just get deselected and the buttons that have appeared over here uh, for this uh, for showing which of the units are selected well ju they just get removed so we can use these buttons to deselect our units even when they're not in camera or something like that so you can de use these features for various things uh, I'm probably going to add some kind of uh, script to these Unit names to uh, go out of display or do to not be displayed if the camera zoom is at a certain level and other things like that, uh, the unit movement and all that stuff. But that's all for the future video. And for now, let's go back to our world. And that was the world test. I created it just for the sake of uh, showing you guys all the features that we're going to be implementing in this video. So. In this world, none of the scripts have been changed. Everything is just the way it was uh, left out the last time. So let's go to the camera 2D script. And as you can see, the script is essentially the same. There might be a little bit of formatting changes, but nothing else has changed. So let me just go and create the first variable that we'll be needing, which is going to be called pan speed. So this is going to give us the speed with which uh, camera will move when our cursor goes near the edge and then we need the margin so this will be the margin value that is the distance from the edge that we need to be in uh, to actually move closer to the edge so uh, to uh, we are going to need two values of margin x uh, so two values of margin actually two margin x and margin y so because we have two sides so uh, let's let me show you an example. So our screen is a little wider, and therefore we can just turn down the Y value to 100, and that will just make our game a little more uh, rectangular, the area of the margin, and that will that is according to your preference. But I'm just gonna set it both set them both to 200 for now. And the next step that we need to do is get in the input for control so if input dot is key pressed key control then we are gonna check mouse position and I'm just gonna say pass because I'm not gonna type in the code for it just yet the first thing that we need is the mouse position variable and to do that, you can just go here and create a variable called mouse pause and call it vector2. Okay, vector2. And let's give a mouse pause the value of the mouse position. We can get it from the event. And I'm just going to check if it's an in input uh, event mouse. And if it is a mouse input, then we can just say mouse position equal to event dot position so I'm doing this check over here because if the event is not an input event mouse then the input uh, event dot position is actually a variant which will not be which will be equal to null so it won't be converted to mouse position and thus it will give us a runtime error if it's not a mouse input so if it's a keyboard input then there won't be any value for position, it will be null and and we don't want there to be any errors and other than that 
uh, this will be updated every time the mouse position is changed or any kind of mouse input has been given such as if you click the mouse button uh, any of the mouse buttons scroll wheel and all that stuff so uh, the next up I'm just gonna add the if statement over here and then just move this past and the if statement is going to say uh, let me think is mouse cause that x is less than margin x and if that's the case I'm just gonna copy this uh, I'm just copy it completely so uh, you can see that position you're going to be lerping the value of position using uh, not the input but actually the pan speed and this should have done it. Let's just uh, play the game and check it out. So as I've used the less than value, so this should be the left hand side. So if we, I hold down the button control and go to the left hand side, then you can see that we are moving. And with that done, that out of the way, let's add some more these. And this time we're going to be saying greater than. So the mouse position needs to be greater than margin dot x or uh, margin x. But the margin x this time is going to be from the right hand side. So it needs to be the maximum size of the window in x uh, or the horizontal plane or the horizontal axis subtracted by margin x. And to do that, we can just say os dot window size dot x minus margin x. And this is essentially what we need. And let me just copy and paste the position value, position x lerp function. And let me just change minus to plus, and that should be it. As you can see, that if we hold on control and move to any of the sides on the x axis, then we are uh, easily able to move. So now we need the feature or uh, this uh, ability to go closer to the edge and thus uh, increase the speed of a movement and to do that we can just simply create a function or use an equation uh, it's a, a lot of math involved in game development so just think about it we need the absolute distance or the distance between mouse position dot x min uh, sorry, minus margin x divided by margin x into pan speed now this is what we're going to be using and let me just go ahead and play it and let me show it to you now if I hold down the control and we go to uh, a farther point then it's going to move slower and if I move in closer and closer to the edge then it will move faster and that is because what we are doing here is we are taking the distance from the margin point which is going to be the let me show it to you which is going to be this point over here uh, somewhere near this unit and we are taking the mouse position uh, which is the position of my cursor and we are just subtracting both of them so the greater it is the faster it will be moving but as we know if you are on the right hand side we are not going to be moving at all so this is how it is going to be done and um, you can use the same one for your other side and it will work absolutely fine but there needs to be one change which is that we now need the new position and subtract that so we are not going to be using this value and we are going to be subtracting this value but as you remember in maths if a sign is a negative the negative into negative becomes a positive so we need to add margin x so in other words it means that mouse position plus uh, mouse position minus window size plus margin x divided by margin x uh, will give us the distance from the this edge or from the right edge so that's as simple as it I can put it actually uh, probably it can be explained a little better you can just ask me anything that you don't understand in, uh, in the comments I will try my best to explain it all to you and the next step is to add if else statements for the y-axis 
and to do that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it and I'm using an another if statement because I want the y axis to be able to move with the x axis so now if I'm moving in oh uh, sorry let me just give it a pass and so now if I'm moving in on the x axis I still want to move in the y axis so that if I go to a corner I move in diagonally rather than just in one axis so I'm using this if statement and I'm, I've used else over here because at a, once we are only going to be closer to one of the uh, sides of the x axis and not both so it just doesn't make any sense to use more than this now let me just copy and paste this over here and let me change all this x to y and done so now let me just copy it all and let's just say l paste and this time it's going to be greater than and we're going to say os dot window size dot y oh sorry i forgot to add minus sign and this works the same way and there's just certainly no change whatsoever other than the fact that I'm just going to have to copy and paste this in the position of Y and change this minus to plus. So hopefully you understand how we are doing this. So now you have, oh sorry, I forgot to change this to plus. And so now you have your very own uh, RTS camera movements and hopefully you all understand how to implement such a system in the next video i'll be going over the uh, the selections and all that stuff the buttons the ui but for now i think that it's time to end this video so bye for now and see you guys later and hopefully you like the video and if you liked it please hit the subscribe button and also like it <laughs> and well just be there, support me, and I will try to make as many tutorials as I can in my free time. And hopefully, I'm not doing too badly. If I'm doing it too bad, you can just put it down in the comment section. I might just change the way I'm doing it. Something like that. <laughs>